Let's get to cooking gas. I bought cooking gas yesterday. I ran out of gas. I was trying to cook on a Sunday night. I don't cook that much, but I was, I was, I was doing some stuff. So I, I go out to go buy gas. 17,000 naira for a 12.5 kilogram uh, cylinder. Meanwhile, the five kilogram cylinder, that's at 8,000. So a five kilogram cylinder today is where a 12.5 cylinder was just a few years ago. So the prices continue um, uh, to rise. Now let's get to our guest, Mr. Felix Ekundaya, Managing Director, Asiko Energy, President, LLPGA. He joins us now from the United Kingdom. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for, for joining us. So what, what, what triggers can we point to for the rise we're seeing in cooking gas prices? Uh, good morning, Rodus. I hope you can hear me clearly. Yes, I can. Thank you so much. Clear, loud and clear. Okay. Okay, thank you for having me on. Um, I got your message roughly about the same time as I got. I received quite a number of other uh, messages with regards to the spike in um, gas pricing. Um, for one thing, I don't want to treat gas as an isolated uh, commodity. There are a number of commodities in Nigeria, as we all know, that have um, uh, reason or spiked yam, onions, whatever. It is a, um, how should we say, it's it's much more an extensive problem of the economy, which is not unrelated to what you just presented before you brought me on. Um, however, there's no denying that, yes, the, the, the rise in cooking gas pricing is a concern. Uh, a number of reasons for that. One is in terms of um, uh, a recent rise in uh, international pricing, uh, which affects us locally. Um, and more importantly, the foreign exchange situation. All our uh, products are dollar indexed. Um, so therefore, anytime there's a, a an exchange rate uh, change, as we have seen over the months, then there is an issue which uh, unfortunately knocks on to cooking gas. So those are some of the reasons behind the spikes that we're seeing. Thank you so much. Now, look, I, as I just said, the price of a 5 kg cylinder is, is almost where the 12.5 was a few years ago. Won't there be any environmental consequences if people that are priced out of LPG turn to coal and firewood? I hope you can still hear me because I lost your oh, uh, transmission so, for a little bit. Sorry about that. Yes. Um, okay. Let me try again. You got the question? The no, no, no. I got, I got the context of what you said. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, yes, we have raised the alarm uh, on this matter now for probably about um, uh, the last nine months. Uh, the concern has been that users who have uh, previously converted to using cooking gas, particularly the more vulnerable, have started to migrate back to dirtier fuels, which is something that we did not want to see. Uh, we are talking with the government in terms of look different ways to ameliorate these um, uh, uh, effects, these challenges. But yes, what you have raised is a major concern for the Nigeria LP Gas Association, and it's something we are working on. There are different programs that are trying to uh, inject uh, some volume of cylinders into the market, but there's simply not enough to um, uh, avert the, uh, the the trend that we see. We see a decline in consumption. More importantly, what one of the things we are focusing on is the increase in local production. We need to actually increase local production as well as divert local production that is still being exported. Uh, a number of producers are doing their best. NLNG is certainly doing its best. It's, it's domesticated on its um, uh, volumes. Uh, but we still have uh, another major producer that we have been trying for years to get them to divert their volumes into Nigeria. And unfortunately, we've made no headway, uh, which is uh, uh, the Chevron uh, facility. We need to uh, start to, to, to uh, make this a much more vocal and public issue divert those volumes into Nigeria um, in order to be able to, to, to boost local supply and reduce reliance on imports. Now, I wanted to ask you, you know, the last time we had you on, when you were here in Lagos, uh, we talked about CNG. Um, there's, of course, been a lot of efforts by the government to get more CNG vehicles. What do you make of the competition for gas? Will the CNG initiatives, you know, Im uh, impact the supply issues that we're seeing with gas availability? For me, actually, it's on the contrary. I think any effort to boost gas production in general, so it's almost like saying you boost oil production, will it affect um, uh, uh, kerosene, for example, or, or diesel? No. If you boost uh, gas production overall, some of it will go into CNG, some of it will go into uh, pipeline gas, which will improve the situation with um, the power generation uh, companies, and some of the byproducts. So LPG comes out of the production of gas. So they're not exactly the same 
product. This um, uh, CNG is natural gas, LPG is petroleum gas. They come from the same source, but they're not exactly the same uh, product. But one complements the other. So they drive the promotion of CNG, in our view, also complements uh, LPG. It, first of all, it makes more gas available for processing. Out of the processing will come natural gas, the dry natural gas, as well as um, petroleum gas. So that should see a boost in terms of um, uh, gas supply overall. Now, okay, Nigeria is a gas giant. Yeah, we got these supply issues. Can you speak to the capital intensive nature of getting gas out of the out of the ground? Okay, I think this is actually much more the the issue as well. So boosting supply is a major uh, should be a major focus. Getting gas out of the ground is not as easy as getting oil out of the ground, i.e. once it's, it's it's above ground, you need to do something with it. Um, that requires infrastructure. So the dearth of infrastructure in terms of gas, and when I say a dearth of in infrastructure, I'm not just really referring to uh, terminals and so on. I think we have enough of those. Um, uh, we need much more down the lines of the pipelines, the uh, end user facilities, who is going to consume the gas. You can get gas to a consumer who is not equipped to consume gas. It's going to cost them something to consume gas. Therefore, there needs to be an intervention at the demand side, on the demand side, demand stimulation, whether it be for petroleum gas, LPG, or it be for natural gas, CNG, LNG. There needs to, massive, uh, there needs to be massive demand stimulation, right, in terms of assisting people to, to convert, whether they're individuals, commercial, uh, uh, entities or industrial associations. And we're not at present seeing enough of the effort on the demand stimulation side. Now, um, see, that's, that leads me to this now. We're talking about the need for more investment. I, I went through Nigeria's fiscal performance for 2023, revenue of 5.9 trillion, expenditure of 19 trillion, a deficit of 13.5. With our fiscal challenges, I know, how can we improve investment in gas? Are we gonna have to look to um, partnerships with uh, technical op operators outside? You raise a very valid conundrum. That is a major challenge now. I mean, unfortunately, it was a misboat when we could have made the investments, but that's um, crying over spilled milk. Now, what can we do? Okay, there is a space in terms of, there is an opportunity in terms of um, uh, the increased prices should encourage a new investment. That new investment has to come from offshore. But one of the factors that discourages um, uh, offshore investment FDI at the moment is the current economic situation in the country. So therefore, we need to give confidence to foreign investors. We need to give confidence to um, uh, uh, new inflows of investment that, look, they can recover their money, that their investments are safe, so that they see Nigeria for what it truly is, a humongous um, um, a consumer market that requires energy it's energy deficit and therefore it really does need that investment to drive um uh, inf infrastructure development now wh what's your projection i guess for cooking gas uh prices going forward i will 12.5 will kg hits you know twenty thousand. will 5 kg hit and how do you see things working out as i mean christmas is coming up you've got the festive season people are going to be cooking so demand will likely go up how do you see things working out so as we end the year we certainly don't want to see that. Um, the unfortunate thing is that with increased pricing, right, it's counterintuitive. With increased pricing, we will see demand collapsing. Okay, so that's not something that we want to see as an industry. So for us, we want to uh, be sure that where we have hit now is the uh, uh, maximum, is the peak, and we will start to see a, a, a reduction. But for that to happen, we must see diversion um, of local supplies, increase of uh, supplies from local producers, uh, particularly the large existing producers who can bring their product to bear in the market. And for this, we will be saying that, look, it's an important initiative for the government, it's an important initiative for NNPC to focus on, um, uh, to bring some of those additional volumes into the market. Mr. Felix Akuna, MD at Seco Energy, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us about this pressing issue. Really appreciate it so much. Joining us there from the United Kingdom.